Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll show you how to fix almost any device with rubber membrane buttons, which are usually very reliable for a few years, but during extensive use, this black conductive material on the back of the rubber membrane wears out pretty quick. So if you're squeezing the remote out of his life while trying to switch the channel or can't dial the number on your phone, then this video is for you. First of all, I do recommend to clean the circuit board with isopropyl or rubbing alcohol and rubber key pad with dish soap. If you cleaned it up but some of the keys still need to be pressed fairly hard to get them to work, then you have to replace the conductive pads and here you have a few options. You can buy a keypad repair kit. There are a few hundred rubber pads and silicone glue. You can use donor pads from old or broken remote or phone. You can also use donor pads from the same device that you're trying to repair. For example, there are many buttons which functions we almost never use. So we can just swap these pads. We need a cutter or a sharp knife and silicone glue. Sanitary silicone works just fine. If you have a bit smaller or bigger rubber pads, they still will work fine. Usually you have to replace or swap five buttons. Volume and channel up and down and the power button. Try to cut off only black conductive material. It's usually one millimeter thick. Now apply silicone glue and put the rubber pads back. Looks great, let's wait for a few minutes and then check our result. You can test your remote control with your cell phone camera. Your remote emits infrared light that your eyes cannot see, but most digital cameras can. If the button isn't working, you wouldn't see any light emitted from the remote control. Replacing the conductive pads is the most reliable and relatively cheap way to fix any device – cordless phone, remote control, digital piano, etc.